The Yala is a simple business where we select Indigenous children from regional, rural and remote communities to go to boarding schools around Australia. It is a really, really good program and you do get to meet a hundred other Indigenous students from all across the country. You know, two generations ago was when my great-grandmother, you know, she was 106 when she passed away and she couldn't sign her name, so she just with a thumbprint. And I remind our children and everybody now is that, you know, the, the only difference between this generation and that of their grandparents is just educational opportunities. Seriously, he's just such a great speaker, a great role model, and he's pushed all us kids, all us boys and girls, to just strive for greatness, better than set the bar higher than what we originally thought we could. And he's helped us so much along our journey through schooling, and he's given us this great opportunity, and I couldn't thank him enough for that. I could use words like, well, there's complete love and purpose and relevance and responsibility and, and gift, the gift that we've been given to do this and just be part of the best that people can be. So my grade seven teacher, Mrs. Rosemary Bishop, back in 1979, I was school captain. So Mrs. Bishop, unbeknownst to me, was sending um, information over to Toowoomba Grammar School to Mr. Dent at the time, and um, she seen something in me that she would like to help out, and she had some contacts in, in Toowoomba, and Mrs. Bishop come from Toowoomba. And so my experience at Toowoomba Grammar School, where you know, homesickness didn't discriminate, and I had a lot of great mates from 1980 to 1984, and, and those were, I suppose, the defining moments for me, whereas, you know, the friendships that bind and, you know, you look after each other and we just become another family. So I had my family in Mergen, but also had a, another family, and, and I, I call them, you know, a family of brothers, where we looked after each other. It's not just for the children now, it's what it's doing for the parents and even the grandparents, mm. um, and how proud they feel. We all share a rich history, you know, it's all, it's a bit like Pastor Doug Nichols used to say, you know, if you play a piano, you've got to play both the black keys and the white keys together to get it music. And that's exactly what we have to do, you know, and we have to do that together because at the end of the day, is, you know, it's about singing off on the same hymn book. And we all have to be working for that same common goal of empowering people. And I know what we do as an organisation is, is about the empowerment and education of children. Well, you talk to some of the schools down in Geelong, they talk more about what the Indigenous students down there give to the community than the other way around. So that's how I see Australia and our Indigenous and non-Indigenous folk living together. Am I biased and naive? Yes, great. <laughs> I don't care. Somebody's <laughs>